driving it home. Why don't you just hang up the phone? You gotta pay attention, don't really wanna teach you a lesson. But it's the only way to tell you the message. You can drive it home instead of getting hit on the dome, yo. The assembly we had was all about safe driving and lots of different forms of safe driving. We talked about not texting while you're driving, not drinking while you're driving, and even just things like being awake when you're behind the wheel. And we had this message go out in forms of PSAs. We've had a couple different PSAs. The first one was about um, practicing safe text. And so it was basically a playoff, practice safe sex. You guys know how I feel about it. You feel the same way, right? Yeah, a lot of people are doing it, but I just think it's stupid. I think it's better just to wait. My girlfriend tried to do it to me once while I was driving. I was like, are you kidding me? It's all about safety. Just abstain for a while. I mean, how hard can it be? I think it really got the message across because it really, you connect to it more because it's more personal and more conversational. The safe texting campaign is all about not texting while you're driving and I think it's a really important message to get out there because that's a really big distraction for teens. We uh, had PSAs about not being tired and a lot of people fall asleep behind the wheel and crash and it's just, it shouldn't happen. Where do you want to crash? The assembly was good because it was a high energy way of getting the message out to lots of different kinds of people with the games and the student involvement and just the whole process being very about the students and how they would want the message put out to them. We also had races where one person was wearing drunk goggles, so um, they were very unsteady and couldn't really race very well. It really showed the importance of not being influenced by drugs and alcohol. I think the most impactful thing we've done with this grant is probably the mock car crash we did because the whole school got to see it and it was a very realistic representation of what could happen if you made bad decisions when you're driving. I didn't think that it was going to be like such an impactful part of our program or um, what we've done with the grant money, but being in the car crash just makes it so real. You know everybody who's in the car and who's um, yelling your name and you're interacting with policemen and having window shields break on top of you and it's just really real. I just kept crying because my friend Jordan, he's like probably one of my closest friends. He was one of the dead people and when they took me out the car, I had to like sit there and just stare at him and I just kept crying and crying. It was so hard. I think it's important that they understand that's what will happen. Like people think it's overreacting, but it's really not. That's exactly what happens. And it gets the point across of what the real how it really impacts your life. Like it's not just one day out of your life, it's the rest of your life. For prom, we are offering to have people take a breathalyzer test when they first arrive there and they voluntarily sign up for that. And if they pass the breathalyzer test, obviously, then they're entered into a drawing for various prizes. So many kids are willing to do it, just not just for the prizes, but to show everyone else that, you know, they're willing to be alcohol free. And I just really want these kids to know here that they really don't have to drink and drive and, you know, they can be sober and don't do drugs and still have fun in life. I think it was very important to not just have the people in SAD, um, be doing the PSAs, be wearing the shirts, be making the shirts, and being involved in the uh, assembly because the people in SAD already know the message and we're trying to get it across to people who don't know the message. Well, if we got the $10,000, then hopefully we'd be able to have a larger outreach to the community. We would be able to uh, reach not only people in our immediate community, but also people in communities around our community, and maybe they would be able to reach out to other people, which would be reaching out to everybody.
Driving at home, why don't you just hang up the phone? You, you better, better pay attention because it's the, the only way to teach you the lesson. lesson. So you don't get hit on the dome, yo.